In this tutorial, you will learn to use the Search History box. You can add searches to your search history by simply performing searches. Here we will search for hemoglobin. Now we will add the hemoglobin controlled vocabulary filter and go back to the search. We can see that both the search for hemoglobin and that for the hemoglobin with the hemoglobin controlled vocabulary filter has been added to our search history. To delete a search from your search history, click the X in the delete column in the appropriate row. To rerun a search, you can just click on the results link for the search in the search history box. Now, let's add another search to our search history. Here we are searching for spectroscopy. Since we have more than one search, we can combine our previous searches into one search. First, we will check the box next to our hemoglobin search to select it as part of our combined search. Now we will click the box next to our spectroscopy search to add it as well. We can see that it automatically combines the two searches with the Boolean AND. We can change the Boolean connector by clicking the arrow next to the search term listed after the Boolean term and selected that which we want from the drop-down list. Now we will search. We can combine searches in more complex ways as well. Here we are searching for blood. To create more complex combined searches, you can type directly into the combined search box instead of using the checkbox. Here we are searching for parenthesis number two and number four parenthesis not number one. This search will combine the results of connecting the spectroscopy search with the blood search using a boolean and, and then exclude the results of the hemoglobin search. To learn more about using Compendex, view our other Compendex tutorials.